King Harren Hawes' grandfather led the Ironborn to conquer the Riverlands, previously occupied by the Stormlands. The Ironborn cared nothing for the inhabitants of the mainland, and their rule was brutal and tyrannical, far more than any previous occupier. To consolidate their hold on the Riverlands, Harren's grandfather commissioned construction of a great fortress on the northern shore of the God's Eye Lake, in the very heart of the region. The largest and greatest fortress ever built in Westeros, it took three generations to finish. The Ironborn broke the backs of the rivermen in forced labor to complete an instrument for their own domination. It is rumored that Harren mixed blood in the mortar. The great castle was finally finished in King Harren's time, and he arrogantly named it, Harren Hall, after himself. On the very same day that the last brick was laid, however, Aegon Targaryen and his sisters landed with their army from Dragonstone at the mouth of the Blackwater River, along with their three dragons, beginning the War of Conquest. Harren thought the walls of his massive castle could withstand any assault, but he did not realize that dragons could simply fly over them. In the burning of Harren Hall, Aegon used his dragon Balerion to roast King Harren and all of his sons alive within their own tower. Harren Hall was blasted with dragonfire and left half ruined. Afterwards, Aegon Targaryen granted Harren Hall to his bannermen of House Coharis, which eventually became extinct. They were followed by Houses Towers, Haraway, Strong, and Lothston. All of them, like the Hawes and Coharis before them, died out, leading to the castle to be considered a cursed place. Several tales are told of Harrenhal, including the tale of Mad Lady Lothston, the flaming ghosts of Harren and his sons, and of servants who go to sleep and are found turned to ashes the following day. Harrenhal is seen as something of a white elephant. While it is technically the biggest castle in Westeros, it is so ridiculously large that the surrounding area cannot possibly produce the necessary food to support the massive army needed to fully man it. Rulers of Harren Hall usually lose money and resources simply by possessing it. As a result, Harren Hall is rarely if ever fully manned. Moreover, it was never fully repaired after being blasted with dragonfire by the Targaryens 300 years ago, which combined with the fact that the garrison is never as large as the fortifications require, means that Harren Hall really isn't one of the most defensibly formidable castles in Westeros. The surrounding lands subject to Harren Hall are actually some of the richest and most fertile in all of Westeros, being located in the watersheds of both the Trident River and God's Eye Lake. In peacetime, a noble house can actually become quite wealthy from holding Harren Hall, provided that they hire only a skeleton force to defend it instead of a full garrison. It is a testament to the sheer size of the castle that even the most productive farmlands in Westeros cannot support enough troops to fully garrison it. Nonetheless, the unwary often see Harren Hall as a great reward or prize in war, without pausing to consider that there is actually little net profit in holding it. By the time of the War of the Five Kings, Harren Hall was held by House Went, until they were stripped of it and the castle was given to House Slint as a reward for Janos Slint's betrayal of Eddard Stark. However, Due to the area being a war zone, Slint never actually occupied the castle and was stripped of it when he was sent to the wall. In season 2, it is used as the main forward base for Tywin Lannister's army in the Riverlands during his campaign against Robb Stark. However, the Lannisters later withdraw their forces to defend King's Landing in the decisive Battle of the Blackwater. At the beginning of season 3 the abandoned castle is recaptured by the Northern Army, Robb Stark's maternal grandmother was a Wendt so he has some direct claim to the castle, and Rob left a detachment of the Northern Army under Roose Bolton to hold the castle. After Bolton left to attend the wedding of Edmure Tully and Rosalind Frey, the castle is manned by his crony Locke. However in season 4, Locke is seen at Bolton's side back in the north. After this, Peter Baelish was Lord of Harrenhal, until he was executed in the season 7 finale by Arya Stark on orders of Sansa Stark. It now is unclear who is Lord of Harrenhal and who holds the castle in real terms.